I'm a sculptor, and uh, I've been making art, trying to make art for many years. I say trying because you never know what it's going to be. Life is a constant um, battle between goals and results, and uh, but most importantly, it's the it's the high of uh, creating something that's special to me. It makes me think about a piece I did years ago with um, butterflies. I walked into the gallery and there's a little boy looking at it and he was mesmerized by it. And I thought, that's what I want. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, I was born in uh, Boston, but moved there where I got a teaching job. And uh, I stayed there because it was an environment that was good for me as a sculptor. Uh, close enough to New York, so I could go whenever I wanted and went frequently, and um, far enough away so that I could focus on my work. I met D.H. going to his studio and seeing what he was doing, and I was fascinated with the way he was experimenting with different ways of treating glass. And after talking to him for some time, I learned that he was very interested in discovery. And um, so he had never worked in crystal, but he had worked for a long time with glass. And he thought that the idea of being in a crystal um, factory would expand his knowledge. I thought by choosing someone that was an inventive person, but also had years of experience, would be something that would add to the approach that the program takes. And when I think about uh, teaching, one of the most important things I think that I try to convey to students is to tap into their curiosity. I think curiosity is one of the main um, components of a creative life. And you have to not fear what you're uh, going into and uh, go into it with, uh, with, with courage and, um, and maybe putting the possibility of fear aside if you can.